In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to use Pinterest. This is going to be a complete beginner's guide to Pinterest. So stay tuned for the whole video. And I'm going to be explaining what exactly is Pinterest, how to use it and all the different features that Pinterest has to offer. So with all that being said, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so what is Pinterest? If you think about it, if you have something in your home where you physically pin things onto a wall or, or something like that, Pinterest is like that, but it's all digital. So it's a place for all your ideas and all the things that you come up with. You can find inspiration on Pinterest and you'll see when we actually get into it. But it's a lot of fun and I think you can get some great use out of Pinterest because anytime you're lacking inspiration or let's say you want a new recipe, you can come onto Pinterest. You can find exactly what you're looking for quite easily because Pinterest has an awesome search functionality to it. So you'll be able to get all of that and more. So once you've gone to Pinterest.com, you'll be on a page similar to this. And then you have two buttons. You can either log in or you can sign up. But since this is a beginner's tutorial, most likely you won't have a Pinterest account. So you want to tap on the sign up button. And then you have a couple of options. You can either create your account with your email address or you can continue with Facebook or you can continue with Google. I'm going to create my account using an email address because I already have one with my Google account. So I don't want that to be linked i'm going to be creating a new account with my email address so all i need to do is type in my email address create a password and then choose my age because pinterest does have an age limit like most platforms online so i'll go ahead and enter in this information and then we'll be on the next page Okay, so once you've gone ahead and actually created your account, you will need to set up your profile. And you do that by telling them, are you male or are you female? So I'll just enter in male. And then you want to pick your language and your country. So that's auto filled in for me. So I'll just tap on next. And now, so Pinterest can show you things that you're interested in from the get go, you'll need to pick some things that you're interested in. So you can pick up to five of these different categories and you can scroll through them and see which ones you like. So I'll just go ahead and pick five of them. And then once you've selected them, you can tap on done. And now we're all set. Now they're customizing your homepage for you. So you have some pins to look at when you first log in. So this is what the homepage of Pinterest looks like. And all of these pictures that you're seeing on the screen right now are called pins. And I'll get into that in a moment. But you can see at the top, you have your home page, then you have a following section. And this is all the people that you are following. So what you can do is you can follow some people by searching the trending and you can search by different categories to find different users to go ahead and follow. So since I don't want my account to be completely empty, I'll go ahead and click on the category animals and I'll just follow like two people. So at least I'm following some people and then I'll tap on done. And then underneath your following tab, it will show you all the pins from the people you are following. And then you can see next to that is a search bar and you can go ahead and search for pretty much anything that you would like. So let's say for example, I'm interested in PC setups. You can see it auto suggests some things and I can select, for example, PC setups gaming. And it's going to show me all these cool PC setups that I can go ahead and either take inspiration from for my own PC setup and things of that nature. And then next to the search bar, you have a little bell icon, which is the notification. So all the updates from the people you're following and Pinterest is going to recommend similar boards to the ones that you already have. This is where you check that. And then you can also message different people and share your ideas with your friends or the people that you're following. And then the next button on the right of that is your pro profile so you can tap on that to go to your profile and we'll get into this more in later on in the video but if you see that little down arrow if you go ahead and tap on that you want to go to your settings when you first sign into your account for the first time here you want to go ahead and change your profile picture upload a picture so it doesn't look completely blank when people land on it you want to go ahead and enter in your first name so I'll do that and you want to select a username, you can select any username that's available, it's going to have your URL of your Pinterest page. So Pinterest.com forward slash and then the username you selected, you can add a description about yourself and you can even include your website and your location. So I recommend doing all of that when you first get into your account so that it's done. And then when you're happy with it, you tap on done. And then it says profile saved. And now you're all ready to explore the world of Pinterest. So you can go ahead and tap on your homepage. And most likely, when you first see these 
pins on your homepage, most of the time they're not going to be that interesting to you. So you'll want to go ahead and search for something. So I'll just go for this PC setups again. And now you can start getting into Pinterest. So what you see in your feed when you type in something or you're on your homepage is all these different pins. And you can see that some of them are videos and some of them are just images. And what you can do with these is you can just tap on them. Let's say this one, for example. And what it's going to show you is it's going to show you who uploaded it, how many followers they have. And you can see their website right at the top. So Pinterest makes it really easy for people to go ahead and visit your website from Pinterest. And then you can see all the comments if people have left comments. And if you like this pin and you want to see more pins from this specific account, you can go ahead and tap the follow button to go ahead and follow those people. And there you see the save button right over here. If you go ahead and tap on that save button, that is where you need to save your pin and Pinterest pins are saved to Pinterest boards. So you'll need to create a board where you can send your pins that you pin under all the different categories that you start saving. So I'll just call this PC setups. And then I tap on the create button. And now that pin has been saved. So you might be wondering where does that pin get saved? So if you go ahead and tap on your little profile icon right there on the right hand side, tap on that, that'll take you to your profile. And here you'll see all of your different boards with the different pins inside. So there's the PC setup one that I just saved. So every time you save a pin, you'll need to give it a board to associate with, and then it will be saved in that board. Now you can see a plus icon there on the far right of the those boards. If you go ahead and tap on that, what you can do is either upload your own pin or you can create your own board. So let's create another board and let's call this one cooking. And this next step here where it says keep this board secret, that is very important. If you don't want anyone else to be able to see this, but on, only for your personal use, go ahead and make sure that that is toggled on keep this board secret and then you can go ahead and create that board. And now because it's a fresh new board, Pinterest is going to ask you to save something to it. So I'm just going to save one or two pins to that board. So it's not completely empty and then tap on the done button. Now you can see at the top here is my title of my board cooking and underneath that you can click on more ideas to get some more ideas for that board. You can organize it. So if you click on organize and then you can see those three horizontal stripes, you can hold down on that and then move it around. And once you've organized your board, you can go back and you can even add some notes to your board. And it tells you at the top there that this is a secret board. So you can go back to your profile and now you can see the cooking board with those two pins inside. Now, if you go ahead and click on the plus again, you can see it says pin that is to upload your own pins to Pinterest. So if you have an idea or something that you want to promote on Pinterest, then you can go ahead and click on create pin. That's going to take you to this page and then you can drag and drop your image that you want to use for that specific pin. And if you want a full tutorial on how to create awesome Pinterest pin images for 100% free, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'll make sure to record that video. Now I don't have anything prepared to upload, so I'm just going to explain it, but it's quite simple. You just have to add a title. So let's just say I'm uploading a pin about my YouTube channel. I could say something like easy tutorials and then you would give it a description and a tip for this is to use keywords when you describe your pin that way people who are using the search bar can use keywords and potentially find your pin and then you can add a destination link so in my case for this specific pin I could enter youtube.com and then forward slash the link of that specific video that I want to link with that pin. But it can be any destination URL that you decide. And then once you've described everything in the pin, you can see the drop down menu. You would need to create a new board for this specific pin. And then once you've done that, you would click on the save button and then that pin will be uploaded to Pinterest under your profile. Okay, so just to recap everything that we just covered, this is the homepage of Pinterest. And on the homepage, you have different pins from people all over Pinterest. And then with these pins, you can save them to different boards. So you can reference them later underneath your profile where everything is displayed nice and neatly for you to see. So this is your homepage. The next tab is your following tab. So everybody that you follow, these are the pins that they have created and you can go ahead and save them as you would with everything else. As you can see, you don't have to individually click on a pin like this to go ahead and save it. You can just go ahead from the page that you're on 
and start saving as you would like. And obviously you want to save them into the correct boards every time you make a new save because I think it defaults to the last board that you saved on your profile. And then you can use the powerful search engine that Pinterest offers to go ahead and search for things that you are interested in. And then you can see all of your notifications here. You can share your ideas with your friends. And then the last option there, is your profile. So that is how to use Pinterest and that is my full beginner's guide on how to use Pinterest. If you got some value out of this video then don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing because I'm uploading tutorials on my channel every single day to help you out. So with that being said I'll see you in the next video. Take care.